most people know you, of course, to date through your own work. But now you're taking on the role of, of curator. Playing the role of curator, I think it's really interesting because yeah. you're sort of looking at art and you're interpreting it um, through your own lens, but you're also trying to get into the heads, the minds of the artists. Yeah. And the artist roster is incredibly diverse. There's a mixture of like Web3, there's some traditional artists in the mix, there's AI artists, there's artists that are interweaving photography with yeah. AI, there's artists who are playing with generative code in different ways. It's all so different. Yeah. I'm excited to show these works at Venus Over Manhattan. It's gonna be really interesting to see all of those works in conversation with each other. Growth, I really like it as a theme because it is so ever-present. It is one of the few constants in life. We as people, we change, we grow, we learn. Everything's evolving. Things are changing extremely yeah. fast. We as a society, we're kind of learning to grapple with that, mm. right? And so it just seemed very of the moment, yeah. this idea of growth. This fascination with computers and engineering really started from seeing my dad from a young age. Computers are wonderful at helping us explore ideas and, and ways that we we can't on our own. Well, what I like about Lars is just like how sort of thematic his thinking can be. He's thinking about growth through a pretty interesting lens. He's thinking about it in terms of like computational growth. There is something fascinating about his art in that I think there's this really interesting balance between precision, but also this like organicness. I'm really interested in poetry as a kind of code and in thinking about poems as a kind of um, technological device, a way of you know, preserving really important information. Oftentimes when we think of growth, we think about growing upwards. We think about growing you know, upwards and outwards, but hers is more about growth kind of in these different directions, you know, growth, growing sort of sideways and exploring the spaces in between. I really like to create uh, I don't know, some abstract things, uh, thinking in, in an architectural scale. Juan Rodriguez Garcia is super prolific, always <laughs> yeah. posting things. And what I love about his piece for this exhibition is that he's really exploring growth from kind of like a personal yeah. perspective. You know, he's thinking about it in terms of like growing as an artist. He comes from an architecture background, yeah. so he's bringing that into um, this piece directly. I studied electrical engineering, but had a great interest in the arts and design. So basically she loves exploring the human condition through a deeply scientific lens. Yeah. When we first conceived of this project, we kind of wanted to be about this idea of growth, but from a more uh, cellular, uh, mystical perspective. They're really exploring kind of these biomorphic forms mm. in these kind of 3D renders. Just really, really fascinating. I've always wanted to kind of combine um, being creative and writing software in some way. Dean's quite interesting for a number of reasons, of course, but, but one that comes to mind for me is that he's released a good computer with art blocks. That's a really small collection. It was 75 pieces in that. And he's, he's released no other NFTs. Finding out about generative art and, you know, a, a, a new way of expressing yourself. I don't know, it just kind of took hold. The way he's exploring growth and that he's taking like one primitive, like a yeah. simple stroke, a simple line, and he's sort of growing it out yeah. and sort of filling the canvas with it. Finger codes, he's just so full of positivity mm. and joy and just passion. I absolutely loved his uh, last collection, Nth Culture. He really brought his culture and identity into this piece in a medium as um, robotic as code. The aesthetic is coming strongly from the, the, the abstract kind of art scene, but the technical aspect is heavily influenced from the works of like William Mapan and MP Colors and Tyler Hobbs, obviously. I started working with the deep learning. It kind of like came to me that I can use it to train the network on my own art. This is how the journey started. 
I love the way that she plays with different mediums. She plays with different subject matter as well in a real way that comes through her work. She has such a signature yeah. in her in her works, and I think it's partly because of you know her process. Like I know she sort of trains her own AI models. She trained it on her own sort of sketches and also her own photographs. Specifically, a lot of our focus goes into trying to unveil just how entangled we are or interconnected we are with the more than human world that surrounds us. The subject matter of their work, uh, you know, feels really well suited for this growth theme. There's all these like tiny challenges that are really important to remind us to not take for granted um, all the things that we have in our day-to-day -day life. Their work sort of explores how uh, there is a synthetic, there is like a, um, a mechanical process to growth, to something that's biological yeah. and sort of organic in nature. had a lot of ideas in my head that I wanted to turn into products, mm. but I couldn't do it on my own. I was always finding myself looking to hire a developer. Yeah. When I saw sort of the coding train and Dan Schiffman and I had this sort of aha moment, like, wow, like I'm gonna do that. Corey is an amazing artist. His subject matter is very growth oriented, mm -hmm. right? Like he's thinking about nature, he's thinking about plants and yeah. he himself, you know, cultivates them. Color is something very important to me. Light and colors are the parts that really fascinate me as tools in artistic practice, how we are able to show the emotion through the light. She has a fascinating process. You know, she combines photography with AI and she produces these pieces that are just so um, you know, intense. She, she's sort of like wrangling emotion out of like a computational system. To me, that is just so fascinating. Her pieces are moody. They're 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 just you know they have a certain intensity to them. Mm -hmm.